Please welcome back to the show our friend Mindy Kaling. I, this uh, television show takes place the, like right after the movie ends. Yes, I'm breaking barriers with this show. Um, there's no female characters in the first one. Yeah, Wait, no, that's not true. That's not, that's a lie. That, I just you instantly- You opened with a lie. I instantly <laughs> thought of two characters. I was about to make this big political <laughs> point about how exciting- Three. So, um, I guess it's not that exciting that I'm in the show. It is exciting. I think it is still exciting, but less exciting. I decided to do something nice that everyone can enjoy, so I collected just about all of the scenes from both seasons of Velma where either Fred or men in general are being ripped on. I hope you'll like it as much as I hated making it. Since Brenda died, I can't stop crying like a total puss. If I wanted to date someone who'd rather risk their life than communicate, I'd be straight. Hey, watch where you're going, jerk. Oh, <laughs> hey, Fred. Do I know you? It's Velma from school. You cheat off me in Spanish because you think I'm Mexican. Maybe. I have a disease where I can't recognize people who aren't hot. My doctor says it's basically sickle cell for rich guys. Is it called rudeness? It is. You're like smart. We might be able to isolate Don at the one thing all true sociopaths love. A bachelor party. Anyway, have you seen Daphne? She texted- Oh, Fred, thank God you're here. Ah! Brenda's- And to me. No, I know. I'm caliente, as this one's people would say. You remembered my name. Huh? That's never happened to me before. Fred, watch out! You're right! If anyone ever saw me talking to you, I'd die of shame. The super soldier made the men feel uncomfortable at work. Wait, your secret is you're hairless? Which is why Brenda and her stupid camera left me no choice but the unthinkable. Oh no. It's okay. I'm just gonna do to you what I did to Brenda. <gasps> oh, oh, what the hell? <laughs> you saved my life. You're not terrible cops after all. Wait, you think I killed Brenda? You just said you were gonna do to me what you did to her. I meant pay you to keep quiet. I'm innocent. I'm too much of a boss to kill someone. Fred Jones being arrested for murdering and removing the brains of Brenda Bright and Krista McRae? Or that his delicate teen heartthrob good looks stem from the fact that he hasn't gone through puberty yet? <gasps> the murders, obviously it's the murders. Oh God! No, God, please, no! You didn't mention Fred had a tiny dong. Oh, yeah, real baby carrot. And I'm gonna ride it all the way to victory. Huh? This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. Uh, well, the case won't be easy. Of course it will. I'm innocent. The only reason people think I removed those girls' brains is because I basically confessed. What do you mean you need to exhume my mother's body? Seriously? I don't know what that means. He can barely survive on the outside as is. Great. I just hope people can actually think I'm a little kid. Ah, crap. I'm all syrupy. Because what you see as risk, I see as mere child's play. Hello, friends. My name is Fred. God, he looks like Hitler! And not just because we compare everyone to Hitler these days. Uh, come on. Yeah, I do. Why frame me? Yeah, exactly. Why would I do that? Before you just started talking, I, I thought you were our housekeeper. Cuddies. We met at lunch in the eighth grade when he confused me for a beanbag chair. <laughs> Classic. He was just another entitled rich guy who might kill someone because he has a tiny dog. Oh! An uncomfortable work environment? And let me guess, you struggle to believe that because most guys don't believe that's an actual thing. Bingo! No, you, you just cut the food and put it on the, what, what's the dumb thing called? A dingle hopper! Great. Show us. <laughs> this is cancer. This this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. Uh-oh. Is that true? I'm a big boy! A big
Big boy who could have removed those dumb girls' brains no problem if I wanted to. Just like a man with a big, expensive car, you can't keep your messed up junk hidden forever. So Fuck. Instead of fraud, you committed murder. Oh, I wish you can get over murder, but this could ruin a man. I'll never tell. Ah. Oh. The truth is, on the night we were gonna burn it down, my father stood me up. Just like on my birthday. Only this time, Bill Gates didn't even jump out of a cake for me. Why, you into that? Respect. No, what was she doing there? I don't know. My dad told me never to pay attention to women over 35. I want to look tough to impress my father. Aww. <laughs> 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 I don't think I can do this anymore, you guys. But if this doesn't help restore my public image as a good guy, I'm gonna be pissed. All right. Yes. Yes. Yeah! Uh, uh -huh. Now, anything else I can do for you? Yeah, maybe read this. The Feminine Mystique. No way! I love Mystique! Is this about whether Jennifer Lawrence is hotter than Rebecca Romaine? Well, oh, I'm excited to see how they settle that in under 400 pages. The Feminine Mystique is a total ripoff! Not one mention of a sexy shapeshifter? What? How? You, you know I'm rich, right? Mystique. Wait. What have you done to me? Buddy, you can be a ghost, and I'll be the man and you're meant to be. Uh, and you're gonna like it. No, I won't like it. I'll hate it. Uh, give me the chance, and I can help you with anything. Uh, well, except filling in your ethnicity on a form. I'm guessing Samoan? I'm hallucinating. Quick, make me laugh like Norville would have. I would, but all I can think of right now is the gender pay gap. Is it funny? Women make 20% less than men, and women of color even less? <laughs> See, now that's some bullshit. Oh my god, Velma, he did it! For the first time in my life, I didn't bungle a task so badly it needs to be covered up by an Israeli security firm. Well, I tried, but only got halfway there. That's just me living up to my label as a male feminist. You're goddamn right. Yes! I finally helped you! So, are you into me now, or what? No. Oh, God, what are we gonna do? I can't go back to jail. I still owe my cellmate notes on his screenplay. Sheriff Earl Cogburn was my identical twin brother! Identical? Every man over 50 looks the same to me. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please? Don, I get it. The only thing I've ever given up on is listening to guys' takes on female directors. Absolutely not, Frederick! Unless this is your selection for our hunt? No, Father, I like her now. Have you heard of inner beauty? That's a myth, you fool! Ah. No, he helped my dad buy Chestney's contract from the strip club so we could date and get my head sorted out. Isn't that right, babe? <laughs> Anything but kiss. Wow, I never knew how big it was down here in the bad boy room. I just hang by the door ever since the rats ate that butler. That belongs to me! It belongs to the people! We are a constitutional father keep <laughs> Oh. Damn, girl, how'd you get all that ass in those little slacks? <laughs> oh, where where am I? Hey, let me out! My parents will never pay ransom. They thanked the North Koreans when they kidnapped my brother. Brenda? But I was at your funeral. Got so wasted. No boys were sloshing your goo over. <laughs> I'd actually say it is perfect. Because I just learned the hottest part of a woman is her brain. Oh, did you? Yes, Brenda. Or should I call you Brenda? <laughs> Why am I such an idiot? I'll never make it as a brain. My parents always say it's my worst attribute. We're at the moment, but we really need to go. Fred's alive! Gone forever! Gone forever? Oh, sorry. Can we try that again? Any movement will upset the garbage bees. My only hope is to be accepted as their queen. That is a very good idea, Daphne. I wish Fred were a little more like you. You mean poor? Gross. The super soldier made the men feel uncomfortable at work. 
So the super soldier killed the men he made uncomfortable. Maybe now guys will realize that where there's smoke, there's always fire. Maybe. Uh, go fuck yourself. Oh, it worked. We're officially popular again. Oh, I can't ever repay you, so I won't. I'm just saying, if white people are now the minorities on campus. Oh, Daphne, I think I'm capable of running the family business. But she's wrong. Look how good I paint the company logo. Your company logo is an asterisk? It's not an asterisk, it's a flower. I painted those ones better. Wait, Fred, you bought this van? That's actually not a bad idea. Ah, wrong, it is a good idea. I can run the family business. Oh wait, you just agreed with me. Sorry, I'm, I'm just sensitive from always being wrong about everything. Well, then I have good news, cause I'm taking you to the one place no one will ever doubt you. But would you arrest her if someone like me said someone like her was bothering him? Well, yeah, that would do it. Oh, get them off! Well, wait, no, keep them on. So it is the ghost of Dr. Edna Perdue. I knew it! Don't be an idiot, Fred. Place my brain? Well, hold up, am I not your special number one little guy? Wait, our family was also poor? Oh, can this day get any worse? Would truly appreciate the advantages of being a handsome, rich, white man. Uh, advantages? You think we like being president of the United States 97% of the time? The job sucks. You know what, Victoria? You're right. I am so in. What? Velma? Fred will die! Exactly. I am so sick of rich guys like you not only not realizing how much is handed to them, but still thinking they're the victims when they mess everything up because of their lazy entitlement and fragile egos. My ego is not fragile! Yes! Rage, Fred! Rage with the anger of a dad who just bumped his head and break your restraints! No! What are you doing? Stop! Fred, your mom is getting away! No, Fred! I only said those things to rile you up! I mean, yes, I feel that way, but... No, I'm glad you said it, Velma. Only friends tell each other the truth, and I'm proud to call you a friend. Anyway, that's about it for today. Put your thoughts down below in the comments section. Check out my book of shocking secrets and groundbreaking revelations, which you can find in the description, and I'll see you all in the next one.